<laughs> it's time to get up. It's not time to get up. Yes. No. We have ship to do. We have what? Ship to do. Ship. We have a ship to finish. <laughs> ship to do. No. It's time want, to get up. I don't want to get up. <laughs> oh. oh. You know, sleeping in sometimes feels really good. Do you ever sleep in? Rarely. I know, it's really stupid. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> uh, we have shipped it. Two years ago, we purchased a hurricane damaged boat with the dream of sailing her around the world. Together with our kids, we've been learning, laughing, and working to make this dream come true. This is the story of our adventures on a sailboat named Spoon Drifter. Now we have two aimless boats. <laughs> right. Four runners. Yep. That seemed pretty dry to me. Down there. That seems pretty dry too. Where do you think I ought to drill it? I don't know. I would say that's dry. That is not wet. Well, that's good news. We really don't want to take this rudder apart. We're hoping that we can repair the cracks and reinstall it. That last stuff that you pulled out was pretty rusty. I'm gonna drill all the way to the hole. I can't tell if it's wet though. Can you stick your finger in the hole? No. Can you stick yours in? Maybe. Yeah, it feels like it might be damp, but I can't tell. I mean, it's definitely rusty, like. That's not. So that's fine. Yeah, compared, this one compared to this one, this one feels a little damp. That's the post because mm -hmm. it's thinner right there. Okay. That's dry. So the question is how are we going to grind that out and rebuild it without making it bigger? It can't be bigger. Yep. It cannot be bigger. That's for sure. We need to think about this for a while. We'll come back to it eventually, but for now, let's move on to another project. Come on, May. Mm -hmm. Get your fingers in the way. <clears throat> I'm taking this, which is a, a vinyl downspout for a rain gutter, and turning it into this to make it a little better form for my base plate for my copper bus bars. I'm doing this at about 180 to 190 degrees for about three minutes. It's not a lot of time. Um, if you go too long, the PVC will actually shrink and get thicker, so it actually, you lose some of your length. You can kind of feel the PVC getting soft and pliable. That piece does not want to get done. Okay, I think this is about done. It's a little floppy. I'm gonna put it in here as fast as I can and pop it right down in there and throw my clamps on there, like that. Put my next one in the oven. And then I just let this sit in here for a minute or two is all it needs. And it'll come out looking like that. Final touches on the molds for the bottom bus bars I'm using the PVC as the base so then the bus bar will go inside of here like that so almost got these done and then I got to drill and tap all of the copper bars Todd custom ordered the copper bars from Storm Copper they cut and tinned it for us 
Okay, with all of these done, the epoxy will not stick to the PVC, but it will stick to the wood. I'm gonna use some silicone to fill this in so that the epoxy won't run out of the, you can kind of see the light through there. I don't know, can you see the light through there? We're gonna do this. You got a paper towel? Give me one of those blue paper towels over there. <laughs> I have lots of help today. Mm hmm. You gonna explain where you are or anything? You just want, like, one or you want the whole? I might need, yeah, I need to roll. I'll start with one, but if I need more, go from there. I'm up at my brother in law's house because he has a shop. So the only reason I came up here is because he has a shop. <laughs> <laughs> we're building a horse shed while we're here. It was all hands on deck for this project. Basically, we'll do anything to put money in our boat kitty. Do you have a project that needs to be done? Drop us a line. But I'm going to squirt this silicone in here. See if I can do it with this thing here. Like that. And then I can take my finger and just cove it into the corner like that. all those spots where it would come through and then I'm just gonna wipe it on the wood because that'll seal that wood so the so, uh, epoxy doesn't stick to that either. Nice to have a drill press, the right tool for the job. Hmm? It looks like confetti. Ooh, copper bar is getting really warm. Holy crap, that is a giant, huge bug. <gasps> Frick no. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Probably one of those like murder hornets. Watch that, <laughs> that's scary. Where did it go? That, touch that. Touch it? Yeah. The silver thing. Is it hot? <laughs> hot. Yeah. What? I got hot from doing that. These bus bars are for our electric motor wiring, and they will need to handle 600 amps. We'll put more details on the steps to making them in the description below. Mm -hmm. Tapping a hole. So I'm getting started. Tapping. You want to be able to go back and forth a lot because you got to eject all the chips out. And it helps to have some oil, cutting and tapping fluid, something like that as well. So you just go back and forth. If it gets stuck, just go back and forth a little bit and it'll unstick. Ooh, that was a lot of pink. fluid. Don't go more than maybe a half to a full turn without going back and ejecting your chips. Got about, oh, I don't know, a quarter inch to go before I'm all the way through. It's still pretty hard. It's gonna be hard on my hands. I need to have a timer to see how long it takes me to do one hole. <laughs> when I got 16 of them to do, 16 holes. It got stuck. There we go. Throw those in the garbage. Take this guy. Can I do that? And make him tight. This. Other way, flip it around. Flip it around. There you go. See how it goes one direction? Mm -hmm. Or two both directions. Okay. Katie, can you get me a garbage bag? All right, this is the plan. The plan is to epoxy these into place using this form. So what I have done, I've made this form, which I explained in, in another part of the video, and I'll show you on this one because it's got all the parts in it. But these bolts are little spacers to just kind of keep this up off the bottom 
about that far. These little white things are where the screws will go through to mount it to the wall. So they're just a little spacer to hold it and also to give me the depth for the epoxy liquid that I'm pouring into here. And then this whole thing is designed to just unscrew and come apart. None of the epoxy should really stick to the, this PVC stuff. So it should come apart really easy, I hope. So why are we doing this instead of buying something from Blue Sea or something like that? Because the cheapest I have been able to find these Blue Sea's power bars are $110 a piece. I'm making four of them, so that's $450, almost $500 by the time you had shipping. And I'm doing this for about $30 bucks a piece. Maybe $35, I think, is what it adds up to be by the time I'm all done. And I saw a YouTube video on how to do it, and I thought that looks really cool. It looks like a fun project, so I thought it might also be fun for us to do with the kids that to fun? try that. Two to one. One of this one, two of this one. Why do you get the ends off the popsicle sticks? So they're flat on the bottom so they can scrape stuff off the bottom. Half a cup of water. That's not why. Well, they said it pours like water, but that was pretty thick, so this has got to be pretty thin. Bring it. Trying not to stir it too fast. I don't want to stir a bunch of air bubbles in it, but hold on to the cup with one hand. There you go. <laughs> it's not my fault. My gloves are so big. Periodically scrape the bottom, scrape the sides, stir it up for a good while. I'm going to take a nap. Okay, bye. So about like that. So now I'm going to see if I can pour it in here. Stuff should self level. Needs a little more though. It's hard to know when it's going to be there. How's it look to you? Good. This is all done. They look pretty good for right now. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to cure and set up. Probably at least two or three hours. So hopefully nobody will bump them in the meantime. Now the test, will they come out as easy as I hoped? Hey. Wow. Look at that, huh? Oh my gosh. Slow and easy on the trigger. Gentle squeezes. There you go. Okay. Set them over there. How about if I uh, take the screws out and you pull them out of the frame? You want to do that? No. No? Okay. Okay, one more. Beautiful. Okay, now we got to peel them out of the frame. Okay. What am I supposed to do with that? Just like that. Just peel it all the way out. that up. Wow, huh? Pretty cool. Mom, are you done voice-offering? Um, I think so. I think I am done with this video. She said you're done voiceovering, or you haven't started voiceovering yet? I think I'm done. I need you to watch the video and tell me if it's any good. <laughs> That's weird. Let us go. Let us go. Is she filming this? It's, she's leaving. It's not coming. Is it coming? Oh, oh. 
We're headed to San Antonio to take Katie to the airport. She's headed to Alaska to work for the summer. She hasn't yet decided whether she'll come back this fall or head to college. For immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. He said, don't go with any weird guys if they ask you to. <laughs> Say goodbye. You're gonna get right in my bed. It's still my bed. <laughs> We're sure hoping that she comes back to sail a season with us, but since she's turning 18 this month, she's excited to spread her wings. Why must they be in such a hurry to grow up? Thanks for watching. Now leave us a comment using the links below or join our crew and come chat in our private Facebook group.